40% of businesses are expecting losses for this year. That's according to a survey by the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry. As COVID-19 continues to disrupt life here and around the globe, the survey also flagged three of the biggest concerns among businesses. They are rising costs, the availability of suitable manpower and pandemic-related restrictions. 92% of more than 1,000 of the firms surveyed are small and medium-sized enterprises, mostly in the services sector. Joining me now to weigh in on this is the President of the Association of Small and Medium Enterprises, Kurt Wee. Welcome back to the show, Kurt. Kurt, looking at those concerns, are your members facing these challenges as well? Are many also expecting losses for this year? I think you're looking at uh, SMEs that are not only facing the current restrictions or manpower crunch or the high business cost, you're looking at the last most resilient batch of businesses that remain in operation after probably about 19, 20 months of uh, COVID pressure. And, and it is a very real thing for them to have been uh, suffering this pain over the last 19, 20 months. And, and uh, so it's not just symptom symptomatically what is, is they're experiencing, what they're, they're actually uh, going to expect a loss. I think everybody generally expects uh, a year that's not going to be great. Uh, since they've been hit by the Delta variant and how potential recovery will be delayed. Um, but, you know, uh, typically you have to look uh, slightly medium or slightly longer term that these remaining businesses have actually been impacted heavily by about 20 months of COVID. That said, Kurt, what measures or assistance are the surviving members, like you said, calling for to help them overcome many of the challenges? I think there has been two key uh, initiatives that have helped businesses quite directly. One is the job support uh, scheme that has helped businesses with their wage. Uh, and then there has also been the rental rebate schemes that have helped frontline businesses. And, and last year during circuit breaker, it's also helped some of the B2B businesses with their rent costs as well. Having said that, these assistance schemes only cushion the losses, only help businesses in having less losses, giving a bit of cushion in the down period. They don't cover all of the loss. And Businesses have indeed over the last 16, 18 months been pushing the digital pivot, to push online payments, push the transactions and ordering systems online, especially the front line businesses. But these uh, processes of uh, doing business, some, most of them also come with uh, cost of doing business as well. So for example, when they shift from physical to online delivery of food, you know, the online de delivery platforms often takes a cut of 30% on the sales, which is a very, very heavy uh, uh, cost as a percentage of their sales as well. So, you know, you're looking at businesses that have uh, survived uh, the first year of COVID, pushed through, they're standing there and they're hit by the Delta variant. And just as, you know, we are expecting that things will be better, things turned out to be not so good. And, and uh, currently we are thinking that probably uh, things will remain difficult right up to first quarter next year, we think. So, you know, job support schemes and rental rebate schemes remain very, very helpful. Uh, we hope that some of the schemes will be extended right up to March next year in order to help businesses uh, regroup, reposition and strengthen themselves for potential uh, upswing. Thank you so much for your insights and your time, Kurt. That was Kurt Wee, President of the Association of Small and Medium Enterprises.